Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today is all about the fascinating world of space rockets. We're hurtling into a head-to-head -head clash of the biggest names in space, a cosmic match between SpaceX's Starship and NASA's Space Launch System, also known as SLS. We wouldn't miss this one if we were you. So get ready for a deep dive into the specs, capabilities, and the future implications of these two monsters of space travel. Let's get right into it. It's safe to say that both NASA and SpaceX have played a huge role in deep space exploration in the 21st century. Both of these companies claim to be creating the most powerful rockets in history. For NASA, that is the Space Launch Systems, SLS, while SpaceX has its Starship model. Before moving forward, let's give an overview of the SLS. It is a powerful rocket inspired by the legendary Saturn V, developed for NASA's Artemis program. It represents a return to human lunar missions and serves as a critical stepping stone for deep space exploration. Challenging the status quo is SpaceX's Starship, a fully reusable launch vehicle designed to be the cornerstone of a multi-planetary future. From colonizing Mars to establishing a permanent human presence on the moon, Starship embodies Elon Musk's ambitious vision for pushing the boundaries of space travel. When it comes down to it, these two colossal rockets have impacted space travel in tremendous ways we can't even begin to cover. But the real question remains, which one takes the cake? For a lot of people, there's this uncertainty on whether a private company like SpaceX could rival NASA's experience and funding. But from all we've seen and witnessed, I think we can all fully agree that SpaceX has shown impressive progress, leveraging a fast-paced production methodology that could compete with and even beat NASA's processes. If anything, it is also possible that in today's world, it is unlikely that NASA can keep up with the innovations, evolution, and cost-saving efficiency of SpaceX. In the race for deep space, we're trying to figure out which of these space travelers is leading the space race. Let's delve into the key specifications that set these titans apart. Let's start with the height of these rockets. Starship reigns supreme in sheer stature. With the Super Heavy Booster and Starship spacecraft stacked, it reaches a colossal 397 feet, which is 121 meters, dwarfing even the mighty Saturn V rocket. SLS, though not lightweight, stands at a still impressive 322 feet or 98 meters in its Block 1 configuration and 365 feet at Block 2. Now, when it comes to the capacity they both carry, they are both different. It is a given that each rocket must carry heavy loads of materials into deep space. But how much do they carry? SLS has a payload capacity of 190,000 pounds, which NASA has spent a lot of funds to accomplish. Starship, on the other hand, has a payload capacity of 300,000 pounds, and it is a shocker to find out that SpaceX is actually spending less money to achieve that. Now let's discuss a bit about these rocket's engines. Here's an explanation of the engines in Starship and SLS, broken down in a way that's easy to understand. Let's start with the Starship. The Starship basically comes in two sections, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft itself. The Super Heavy Booster is this giant first stage which acts like the workhorse of the system. It uses a bunch of powerful engines called Raptors, which burn methane fuel. Think of them as supercharged gas engines, but instead of gasoline, they guzzle methane, a natural gas. These Raptor engines provide the immense thrust needed to get Starship off the ground. In total, the Starship Heavy has 33 Raptor engines, with 13 in the center and the remaining 20 around the perimeter of the booster's aft end. The current version of the Starship uses Raptor 2 engines, which are even more powerful. The second section is the Starship spacecraft. This is the part that looks like a giant metal bullet. It also uses Raptor engines, but for both lifting off and landing. It's like having a mini version of the Super Heavy's engines strapped onto the spacecraft itself. This allows Starship to land propulsively, just like a giant metal sci-fi spaceship should. Next, the SLS. When it comes to the SLS, we'll be going over three stages. Firstly, the solid rocket boosters. These are the two white cylinders strapped to the side of the SLS core stage. They're basically giant firecrackers that provide a huge burst of power at launch, similar to the boosters used on the old space shuttle. Secondly, the core stage. This is the main body of the SLS. It's powered by four RS-25 engines, which are actually veterans of the space shuttle program. 
These powerful liquid-fueled engines burn a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen and take over after the solid rocket boosters are done. And thirdly, the interim cryogenic propulsion stage. This upper stage sits on top of the core stage and looks like a smaller version of it. It has a single RL-10 engine, another veteran engine that uses liquid hydrogen for fuel. This engine gives the payload a final push into its desired orbit around Earth or towards the Moon. So, that's a breakdown of the different engines powering these two incredible rockets. Starship uses powerful, reusable Raptor engines for both stages, while SLS uses a combination of expendable solid boosters and veteran liquid-fueled engines. Next, let's discuss the thrust of these rockets. Thrust is something to look closely at, and Starship packs heavily. The super-heavy booster of the Starship unleashes a monstrous 16.7 million pounds of thrust, significantly outperforming SLS's 8.8 .8 million pounds in its Block 1 configuration. This translates to a greater capacity for Starship to haul heavier payloads into space, enabling more ambitious missions. We also have to mention that power, reusability, and technological advancements are major factors to look at when determining the better rocket. Reusability is a game changer. SLS is expendable and this drives up launch costs and which in turn limits mission frequency. Starship, on the other hand, is designed for complete reusability, similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. This significantly reduces launch costs and paves the way for a more sustainable spacefaring future. Imagine the environmental and economic benefits of a launch vehicle that can be recovered and relaunched repeatedly. To top it all off, Starship has a revolutionary in-space refueling capability. This ingenious concept allows Starship to be refueled after reaching orbit, essentially extending its range and payload capacity. This capability is a game changer for deep space exploration, enabling missions to travel further and carry more cargo, unlocking the vast potential of exploring distant worlds. What is the future looking like for both space monsters? Is there a future filled with endless possibilities? While both rockets hold immense potential, they cater to different needs. SLS is a powerful and reliable launch vehicle for critical deep space missions, particularly in the near future. Starship, with its reusability and future-oriented design, has the potential to revolutionize space travel in the long run, making deep space exploration more accessible and cost-effective. If we're being honest, when it comes to one key metric, we have to say that SpaceX stands stronger and that metric is the cost it takes to get a lot of payload into space. For this reason alone, they are the likely winners in the market for deep space exploration. Regardless of which rocket is better, we're super excited to keep up with both companies' future launches. That's all we have for today, guys. Join the conversation in the comments below. Who are you backing? The established powerhouse or the reusable revolutionary? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth space exploration content.